Uh, you see the signs, uh, no vote cannabis 2017, there you go. Hey, uh, before we get into that though, um, we've only got about five more shows to go, so come on oh, wow. down, we film around six o'clock uh, at the back of the tavern. Do come and join us with a glass of wine, we'd love to see you here, have a drink after, be part of the audience. Also, a oh, bit of an announcement, um, RNZ and Backbenchers is kind of teaming up to do a little bit of a um, post-election show Sunday morning on my RNZ show oh, from wow. 7 a.m. here. So more of a discussion, wouldn't you say, Charlotte? But, yeah, um, great we'd discussion. We'd love to see you here from 7 a.m. The day onwards. after, the day, day after, after the election. Seven day after, yes. <laughs> 7 a.m., that's a We'd love to see yeah. you here. 7 a.m., that's... Well, we'd, 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 love, no, we'd love to see you here. 7 p.m., I think's more realistic. <laughs> now, 7 a.m., shh. We'll important, <laughs> important. <laughs> Latest <laughs> polls, latest polls show support is changing with how we deal with cannabis. The Misuse of Drugs Act is now 42 years old and review is expected. The latest one poll result says that 47% of us are in support of regulated cannabis sale. Peter Dunn. Well, they're right. And I've said for a long time, no one's been listening, that what we should actually oh, do... <laughs> cry me a <laughs> river, Peter. <laughs> it's true. No one's been it's listening. It's true. That what we should do is shift the Class C drugs... We are now. We're listening. We're listening. The Class C drugs from the Misuse of Drugs Act over to the Psychoactive Substances Act, where they could be tested as to the level of risk and if they were deemed to be low risk, sold in a regulated environment. How long, just out of interest, how long have you had this opinion? Uh, I mean, are, probably, are, you, are you a long time pothead? I've been, I've been advocating this position since about 2012, 13. You said no one's listening. The rest of the parties you've said are not interested well, in I reform. Think there are, yeah. I've said a long time there are two big problems in the whole issue What's of that? drug reform. One's national, the other's labour. <laughs> so why don't they, Chris, why don't you jump on the board with the rest of the world and advocate progressive reform. You're a progressive party, but for this particular uh, issue, you're kind of stuck in the mud. No, no, that's not true, actually. And I do support reform, and so does the Labour Party. We think, we think that cannabis should be treated as a health issue rather than as a criminal issue. And so if we started from that perspective, we would end up with a solution along the lines of so what, what Peter is suggesting. So what difference would that make? Well, it means that we wouldn't end up being arresting people and sending people to prison uh, over cannabis use. All right, Denise Roche. What yeah. do you make? Uh, well, we've been campaigning to legalise, decriminalise and then legalise cannabis for, I don't know, the 15, 20 years. So it's really nice that everybody else has caught up with us. And only a vote for the Green Party in the heart of a progressive government is going to make that change. So to people be, need a party be, vote for Green. Chris? <laughs> to be fair, the Greens are, re are, are recent converts to this. They haven't had a bill to um, introduce medicinal marijuana in the ballot until very, very recently. So there hasn't been a bill on the ballot. Actually, so, that's not true, because you know, I no. voted in favour of yeah, yeah. one that was introduced yep. by yep. Matiti Ture yep. in my first term in as a member of parliament. Yeah. For the next, yeah. for, in 2009, for the next seven so years, a not a skerrick. Not Next seven years, didn't put it in the All ballot. All right, Chris so, Bishop, anyway, let me ask you. Just this, saying, can I suggest to you, can I yep. suggest to you that the National Party is completely out of touch with this issue? Isn't it like, isn't it like the same-sex marriage issue where, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. For, it's now accepted... It's now accepted. Let's let's get on board. Well, you can su you can suggest it to me, but I don't necessarily agree. I mean, marriage so, marriage equality for a, for national was a conscience issue. Half of our caucus issue, this half of our caucus too. voted in favour of it, half voted against it. We're yet to consider as a caucus how we'll deal with the medicinal marijuana uh, bill, whether or not it'll be a conscience issue. It has been in the past. The bill that Chris the vote? bill that Chris so, referred so to in two thousand and nine. Oh well, you'll have to wait. You'll have to wait well, and see. Well, there well. are there are big issues with Julianne's bill, and she she herself actually acknowledges. Uh, that the bill is deficient, before, uh, before but there's a case. So there's a case for sending it. That's right. That's fair enough. There's a case for sending it to a committee yeah, right, to figure right. it out. But I, 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 I want right to ask. The, the, the other big issue is that we know, we know, Peter, uh, that cannabis is not good for young brains, mm. young minds. We know that. Sort of 13, 15, 16, 18. Is there a big issue with this? There is, and I think that's why a regulated market where you'd have sales restricted to persons over the age of 18 through designated outlets is one way of controlling that. I think we need to make it very clear that in that environment, we'd be talking about developed products, not stuff grown in the backyard. And that would be part of the part of the process to determine the level of risk. Okay, that's how I, you then I govern just, against. That's that. how you then govern against the risk that you're right. setting out. Chris, I'm, I'm quite interested in this, and I actually went to Colorado a couple of years ago. I went and talked to uh, the, the lobbyists behind it, and I went and talked to the people selling it in the dispensaries, the licensed dispensaries. The evidence is not yet in on what happens to young people's usage. 
So a lot of people think it may rise in a regulated market. Some people think it may actually decrease because it's it's regulated. You can treat it better. Um, they haven't got the evidence in yet. But so it's, it's it, worth then, looking at. If you legalise it, you can at least do some education around right. it, and you can uh, and yeah. you can treat it as a health issue if it's a problem. There's, there's an argument for that. Yeah. Before I jump in, Peter, out of it, have you ever smoked pot? Oh, I've admitted to doing it when I was a student. Yeah, didn't, I didn't like it particularly much. So I didn't carry on. Yeah. All right, Charlotte. I found Joseph in the audience. He was the one yelling out marijuana. You're a, a pro-marijuana. Uh, pro, uh, yes, I'm, I think drug reform is necessary. I think our entire society is lagging behind. I think it's kind of alarming when the Greens have the most sensible policy, like out and out on, a, on an issue. Um, how do you think, uh, what do you think, or how do you think it affects mental health issues for young? Um, I think some drugs can be beneficial for mental health. I think psychiatrists use like MDMA to talk with the patients, that, that can be helpful. I think we're not looking at the ways we can use drugs beneficially. I think people's language often like lets their opinions be viewed quite clearly. Like Gareth Morgan, for example, calls cannabis dope. Um, we had Chris over there calling it marijuana, which is like a Mexican plant of some sort, some sort of Mexican bush the Americans came up with. I think we're like- What do you call it? I call it cannabis. The like, same way I call alcohol, alcohol, not piss or booze. Um, you know, and do we do studies into how, like what, what does alcohol do to That's piss 13 year olds? Yeah. You know, do, do we do those studies? I think it's, it's far-fetched, quite frankly. And I think Labour and National are both really behind. I think Peter Dunn's catching up for no reason at all other than the fact he thought it was a good way to get into the next um, election cycle. Oh, that's harsh. And I, I think the Greens actually probably the best that's one. So, and I think we should look I'm beyond not, just cannabis. So I think unfair. we should look at other I'm drugs. I that think is MDMA so unfair. I think Back to the panel. Two <laughs> <laughs> minutes. All right. You got your soap. All right. Hey, <laughs> what's... Uh, sir, sir, that sir. So hey, unfair. uh, what's your name? Joseph. Joseph, um... Joe. 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 Hey, Joe. And I've never done a drug in my life. Thank you very much. Joe, Liz. Joe, you won the boot prize tonight, which was a Peter Dunn pen. <laughs> this, in a hundred years' time, this would be a thousand dollars on trade me. <laughs> Stay with us. Backbenders next. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.